yes, uh, yes, hello. Uh, yeah, uh, today I want to do a little. Um, I want to go to on the side word because I, I want to uh, talk about something a, a, a similar topic. This is about Harvey Weinstein, not Jeffrey Epstein. I know the last name sounds sound the same, but it's weird. Um, so here we got Harvey Weinstein. He's a powerful man. He knew Jeffrey Epstein too. There are pictures that they took together. They, I, I, I think the, this topic is, is kind of fascinating because it's focusing on the world, the world of the elites. There's a lot of co-opt and evil thing in the elite world. There's a lot of like uh, messed up people, but I mean, there is also in the in the in the world of the poor and the low class. So we are the same way too. It's not like we are better than them, but it's just that theirs is more exposed. And when they commit crimes, they, they commit it in a bigger scale. But here's Harvey Weinstein. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I, I want to investigate the 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 method he had to acquire those women. It's kind of interesting. He was like kind of in the, your face. I want you guys to look at it and let me know what you think. If I say to you, Harvey Weinstein, that name, those two words, what do you think of? I contract even just seeing his face in the news. A, a repulsive contraction. Yeah. And fear and just it's hard to describe, but it's like a, just a shutdown. The arrogance of Harvey Weinstein knew no limits. Put simply, the predator thought he could do whatever he wanted to women like Jasmine Lowe. 12 years ago, he pretended to be her friend and promised to make her acting dreams come true. Today, he's the monster inside them. This wasn't the friend or the mentor that I had known. I felt um, terrified, and all I could think is I want my parents. What's extraordinary are the numbers. So far, more than 100 women, just like Jasmine, have come forward with similar claims. Sexual harassment, assault, and in some cases, even rape against Weinstein. This is the inside story of how Harvey Weinstein kept shocking allegations of sexual abuse against him from being made public. How he used undercover operatives to gather information. Weinstein must have been incredibly disparate. Yeah, companies call this a you bet the company case. You throw everything you have to try and fight however you can. In other words, you think you've got nothing to lose. Or you have everything to lose. And, good day, Dylan Howard. How the actions of an Australian journalist working with the resources of one of America's largest media organizations, helped keep Weinstein's predatory behavior Hollywood's dirty little secret. We talk about the work that you've been doing for your friend Harvey Weinstein. It's here in New York City that Weinstein first began to build his power base and movie empire. Along with brother Bob, the pair started a production company that would make them rich, famous, and very influential. Miramax went on to have a string of hit movies, making many of its actors major stars. If you're on Harvey's team, you're almost automatically Hollywood royalty. That's why every actress and model in town went knocking on his door. Perfect fodder for Weinstein's insatiable appetite for lust and power. He was the gatekeeper. He was like the king of Hollywood and everyone wanted to know him. But I could tell by the type of man he was that he was both larger than life and really smart and charming. But at the same time, he was, he, he was, he was scary. He was big and he was a big force. Jasmine Loeb was 24 years old and a successful model when her world collided with Harvey Weinstein's. I met him socially. He knew you were an aspiring actress. Yes, absolutely. It seemed really legit. And then he also would send me scripts and really sort of groomed me um, also as a friend. And I saw him as a mentor. Yeah. He was going to give you big roles and you were going to be made. Yes. You know, there was a flirtation that he was, but I was always telling him that I had a boyfriend and I was very clear. Um, and I think that's when he, at a certain point, 
he got angry about that. Well, you wouldn't exactly see him as a boyfriend, would you? I mean, have a look at him. Yeah, no, of course not. But um, the fact that he kept sort of, he would push that, and I would always be very firm. Jasmine says the first time she saw Harvey Weinstein's true colors, the unhinged megalomaniac, was one afternoon at a department store in New York City. I'd done a modeling job at Bloomingdale's, and he called me to um, see what I was doing that evening. Um, I told him that I couldn't meet him and that I was going to go see my grandmother afterwards. And uh, he showed up to Bloomingdale's. Didn't take no for an answer? No. And uh, he roamed the halls looking for me, calling out my name. And then he said, I came to give you a ride home. And I was clearly terrified. And I went downtown with him um, in the car. And he grabbed my hand. And I pulled my hand away. And, and at that point, he got really fed up. And he said, I want more than this. And you know, I, I can't do a platonic relationship anymore. And so I said, then I can't be your friend anymore. And he said, do you know who I am? You can never speak to me again if we don't, if we don't take this further. So what did you say? I said, um, well then, I guess we can't. Yeah, as you have seen guys, you see this young Marlo, uh, uh, I mean this uh, actress, so her name is uh, uh, Jasmine Loeb. Uh, beautiful woman. She goes to Harvey Weinstein. Try, hopefully, hope, hopefully that he, she, she, he can help her career. And Harvey Weinstein, like, trying to make a deal with her. Hey, give me that what you have, and I'm gonna give you what I have, which is success, and you can give me your body. And that kind of transaction. So basically, he saw women as prostitutes, all of them. And who knows which actress went. Uh, with Harvey Weinstein, they made it to the top because not all women will refuse that appeal. That that you know, some women would just give up and say, "Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm desperate. I'm just going to do it." But they, that uh, that I'm glad that those women stood up to Harvey Weinstein and they did not feel like they can go on with that and they cannot let that go. And uh, it was a tough call for them. I mean, kind of because it's like. Uh, uh, basically, Harvey Weinstein is, 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 is basically telling the woman to sell your soul. Just sell your soul to me. I'm going to make you rich. And then, and then that's it. You're going to have a great career. And it's interesting what those, these women said. It's like how Harvey Weinstein bluntly, right in front of her, and said that, you know, you don't want to wound the relationship I have with you. You know, I don't want to keep keep this relationship platonic. I want to go to the next step where we can be boyfriend girlfriend, where we can have sexual relationship. So Harvey Weinstein was very blunt, and but the only thing about Harvey Weinstein was different from Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein uh, was the kind of guy that he goes after the young women, but he wasn't promising them the world. I don't know if you guys agree with it. After you had a session with Jeffrey Epstein, you are a massage parlor. He, he gives you two hundred dollars. But with Harvey Weinstein, after he, let's say you do have sexual relationship with him, he's going to push you all the way to the top. So, hmm, what do you guys think, guys? So, all the actresses that that we see that are put to the top, are they all of them legit? That they didn't do? Did they, did they have to go down with like some top producers? We don't know because, guys, we have to keep it real, guys. Let's keep it real. Not everybody is is as is, is, is a is a morally pure. Some people they, they they see that a man tell them, hey, I can give you a deal. You have a relationship with me, and I bring you to the top. They will go with that path because they are desperate for the for the gold. Some people they hold on to their virtue, and some people are more virtuous than others. So who knows who Harvey Weinstein was able to promote? I would like to go to the list of actresses that work with Harvey Weinstein that are quiet. I don't know. I think that's another topic. But 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 the actress that came out, that's pretty interesting. And the fact that Harvey Weinstein, um, he's the kind of guy that's like, hey, like you know, like uh, he, he kept on going and going and going, and he thinks that that's not going to bring a train wreck. Just because some women allow you to do that, not every woman allow you to do that. Uh, you know. So that's what obviously did not learn. So guys, I want you to subscribe to my channel. This is a comparison between Harvey Weinstein and Jeffrey Epstein. 
um, one guy goes after these young women and after the massage you give them $200 but the other guy if you join him if you have a sexual relationship with him it pushes you all the way to the top to become a Hollywood movie star so that it's like a different payoff uh, all right take care guys have a good day